For today's video, we are going to continue our discussion on buying and selling and this time, we are going to talk about what is markdown and we are going to explain everything in details. So when we say markdown, it is the amount deducted from the selling price of an item. So what is the reason why do businesses put markdown? The first one, to entice customer to buy more items, to make the price more appealing, to get rid of slow-moving merchandise, to increase the sales, and lastly, to meet the price of its competitor. And the formula to find the markdown that is markdown equals markdown rate multiplied by selling price or markdown equals selling price minus new selling price. When we say selling price, that is the price at which the item is actually sold. New selling price, that is the discounted price of an item from the regular selling price. And lastly, markdown rate, that is a percent of the original selling price. And these are the basic concepts that you need to remember in order for us to understand what is markdown. So let's start and let's have an example. On example number one, how much markdown percentage was applied to a jacket whose previous price is 790 pesos is now sold for 650 pesos? To determine the markdown percentage, let us identify first our given. Let us have the selling price that is 790 pesos and then we have the new selling price. That is 650 pesos and we are looking for the markdown rate. To determine the markdown rate, let us find first the markdown and let us use the formula markdown equals selling price minus new selling price. Our selling price that is 790 pesos minus new selling price that is 650 pesos 790 minus 650 that is 140 pesos so this will be our markdown and let us use this one to determine the markdown rate and we are going to use the formula markdown equals markdown rate multiplied by selling price Markdown, that is 140, equals markdown rate times selling price, that is 790. And to simplify, let us have 140 equals 790 markdown rate. And let us divide both sides by 790 to determine the markdown rate. Let us cancel this one. Markdown rate is equal to 140 divided by 790. If you are going to divide this one, we are going to have 0 0.17722. And if you are going to simplify, we are going to have 17.72%. And this will be the markdown rate. And to check our answer if it is correct, let us use the formula markdown equals markdown rate multiplied by selling price our markdown rate that is 17.72 percent if you are going to write this one into decimal we are going to have 0 0.17722 multiplied by selling price that is 790 and if you are going to multiply this one we are going to have 140 pesos so this will be our markdown so as you can see, we come up with the same markdown. On example number two, find the previous selling price of a shirt which now sells at 300 pesos which was given a markdown percentage of 25%. To determine the previous selling price, let us identify our given. Let us have the new selling price that is 300 pesos and we have the markdown rate that is 25% or if you are going to write this one into decimal that is 0 0.25 and we are looking for the selling price. 
to determine the selling price, let us use the formula markdown equals markdown rate multiplied by selling price. So let us have markdown rate that is 25% or 0 0.25 times the selling price. So our markdown that is 0 0.25 selling price. So we are going to use this one to determine the value of our selling price. And let us use the formula markdown equals selling price minus new selling price. Our markdown that is 0 0.25 selling price equals selling price minus new selling price that is 300 pesos. So let us move the selling price on the other side of equation. It will give us 0 0.25 selling price minus selling price equals negative 300. 0 0.25 selling price minus selling price that is negative 0 0.75 selling price equals negative 300 and let us divide both side by negative 0 0.75 to determine the selling price let us cancel this one so selling price is equal to negative 300 divided by negative 0 0.75 if we are going to divide this one, our selling price that is 400 pesos. And this will be our answer. And to determine the markdown, let us use the formula markdown equals 0 0.25 times selling price. That is 0 0.25 multiplied by selling price that is 400. It will give us 100. So this will be the markdown to check if our answer is correct let us have markdown equals selling price minus new selling price selling price that is 400 minus new selling price that is 300 400 minus 300 that is 100 so we come up with the same markdown on example number three after Christmas season, Sharon is considering to reduce the price of a gift wrapper. Her original price is 30 pesos. On letter A, if she wants to decrease its price to 21 pesos, what is the markdown rate? On letter B, suppose Sharon wishes to calculate the wrapper price based on markdown rate of just 20%, how much her gift wrapper costs? To answer the given problem, let us identify first our given. On letter A, let us have the selling price that is 30 pesos, new selling price that is 21 pesos. And we are looking for the markdown rate. To solve for markdown rate, let us identify first the markdown using the formula markdown equals selling price minus new selling price. Selling price that is 30, new selling price is 21, 30 minus 21 that is 9. So this will be the markdown. And let us use this one to determine the markdown rate by using the formula markdown equals markdown rate multiplied by selling price. Markdown that is 9 and then we have markdown rate times selling price that is 30 so let us have 9 equals 30 markdown rate and let us divide both side by 30 let us cancel this one so markdown rate is equal to 9 over 30 if you are going to divide this one we are going to have 0 0.30 or 30 percent so this will be the markdown rate and this will be our answer. On letter B, let us have markdown rate that is 20% or 0 0.20 and we have selling price that is 30 pesos and we are looking for the new selling price. 
And to determine the new selling price, let us determine first the markdown. Let us have markdown equals markdown rate times selling price. Markdown rate that is 20% or 0 0.20 times selling price that is 30. 0 0.20 times 30 that is 6 pesos. So this will be the markdown. And let us use this one to determine the new selling price. So let us have markdown equals selling price minus new selling price. Markdown that is 6 equals selling price that is 30 minus new selling price. And to simplify, let us have new selling price equals 30 minus 6 and that is 24 pesos and this will be the new selling price and this will be our answer on our last example find the markdown rate if the dbd was originally priced at 290 pesos and was sold at 240 pesos to determine the markdown rate let us identify the given let us have the selling price that is 290 pesos and then we have the new selling price that is 240 pesos. And then we have the markdown rate. To determine the markdown rate, let us identify first the markdown. Let us have markdown equals selling price minus new selling price. Selling price that is 290 pesos minus new selling price that is 240 pesos 240 minus 240 that is 50 pesos so this will be the markdown and we are going to use this one to determine the markdown rate so let us have markdown equals markdown rate multiplied by selling price markdown that is 50 pesos equals markdown rate times selling price that is 290 to simplify let us have 50 equals 290 markdown rate let us divide both side by 290 let us cancel this one so markdown rate is equal to 50 divided by 290 if you are going to divide this one we are going to have 0 0.17241 and if you are going to simplify this will be 17.24 percent so this will be the markdown rate and this will be our answer and to check if our answer is correct let us use the formula markdown equals markdown rate multiplied by selling price Markdown rate, that is 17.24, but if you are going to write this one into decimal, we are going to have 0 0.17241 times the selling price, that is 290. And if you are going to multiply this one, we are going to have 50 pesos. So we come up with the same markdown. So I hope you've learned from this video. Thank you so much for watching and God bless us all.